GoGuardian can help you access your student screens and monitor what they're doing, but it can also help them focus. Today, we're going to go into scenes on the left hand side here and create two different types, an allowed web list, and this gives access only to the websites that you put into this list. Everything else on the internet is blocked. And the other option is a blocked websites list, which of course, if I want to stop something like access to YouTube, that's where I would put this. To start, click create and give your list a name. I'm going to call this test time because this might be something I want to pull up every time students are doing an assessment. If you want, you can give it an icon color and a description. And when you're ready, click next. Now I need to add the sites that I want students to have. Again, this is an allowed list, so only the sites that I put in this bar here, students will have access to. So I want to go and first give them access to our dashboard. So I'm going to copy the link to our dashboard because they're going to need to sign in. You can see that the link shows up down here, and when I click add, it's added over here to my test time scene. I also have the option to add an auto open, so whenever I apply this scene, this page will automatically open for my students. I have some recommendations here, and it says we recommend the following to ensure student access, and that's the access to the launch pad, which is the part that connects them to that dashboard. So make sure that you're reading any of those suggestions, and they also give you a list of similar things that you may wanna add into your page. So I could add all of them or one of them. And now I wanna think of the next step in the path for my students to access their work, which of course will be their Schoology page. Once I open the Schoology page, I can take this portion of our URL, the wasd.schoology.com, as it's specific to our students. Let's copy that and add it to our scene. I paste it into this box just like I did the previous one. Click search and you'll see it show up here at the top. So let's go ahead and add this one. All right, so now I have a clear path for my students to access their work on Schoology. I also have an option at the bottom to limit the number of tabs that students can have open. This is great if you have a test or something like that. Maybe give them one tab and then they can't open up their notes that are also on their computer or two tabs if I need to have two things open, but I don't want them going to search like YouTube or put Spotify in or something like that. Now in my allowed scenes, here's test time and I can assign it to any class that I would like. On the flip side, if I have a blocked websites list over here, this tells me specific sites that I don't want my students to access. So this is a much more useful tool for everyday classrooms. So for example, Spotify. I have a student that keeps trying to get on Spotify at inappropriate times. So I'm gonna go ahead and block that website. I add the URL to the search bar and then add that website to my blocked list. You see, I have a lot of other suggestions that I may want to block as well, other streaming players uh, or iHeartRadio, Netflix, that kind of thing. And I even have an option to just add all 10 suggestions. Once I have everything that I need, I might want to go back and look and say, well, for example, YouTube is something that my students may actually use for class. So I'm going to use the X on the right to get rid of it. I can look at my tab limits and when I'm satisfied, save this scene. So there's my Spotify scene right there. Now when I go back into my classroom and I select the classroom, I have the choice to apply a scene right from the beginning or the start of my GoGuardian session. And all of my scenes are listed in this dropdown menu. Now when I start session, the scene will be applied for all students. However, if I only want the scene applied to a few students, I have an option for that as well. So let's not add a scene at the start, come into our class, and then I have two places where I can add a scene. The first one is here, apply a scene, and when I select it, I can choose any student that I want individually, or I can choose the whole class and add a specific scene to them. So again, if I have a student that needs Spotify blocked, I can apply it just to that student. And the top right hand side, oh, there it is, no scene applied. This will apply a scene to my entire class. So simply by clicking that and updating my scene, that's now applied to every student in this class.